Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here, back with another tutorial. Before we get started, if you guys haven't subbed, please do. It helps the channel out more than you know. And I want to mention our sponsor today, Odyssey Headphones. They made the headphones I'm wearing here, and they are absolutely the best mixing tools I have ever used. I cannot recommend them enough. I'll leave a link to them in the description of this video. So what we're getting into today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve the perfect sub bass inside of Serum. Now a lot of this technique is actually derived from a Mr. Bill masterclass, which I'm going to link out to in the description of this video as well. But I recommend checking this out because he doesn't show you how to do it in Serum. Check it out and then go to his video after to check out the rest of his masterclass. So let me show you guys how to achieve the perfect sub. So typically what people do to create sub is they just grab a sine wave, they play it in a low octave and they call it a day. Now I want to present a concept to you guys to really change your perception of how to achieve a louder mix. So when I was studying audio engineering in audio engineering school, we were presented with a mixing book and in it there was this one phrase that really stood out to me called maximum volume, minimum voltage. And what this concept is, is you're trying to achieve the loudest perceptual volume in a track while using the least amount of energy. Now most people think of this in terms of a macro scale, in terms of each element, how they slot together, how they're using energy in the mix. But when it comes to things like sub bass, people don't think of it you know, on a micro scale in terms of the actual single cycles of the waveform. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's grab an oscilloscope to place after serum here. So we have Serum, we have our oscilloscope, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rep check out this waveform, and we can see it here represented. So this is the same sine wave, this is what's going on, this is what the oscilloscope is picking up. Now what a lot of people like to do, for example, is maybe layer a different sine wave an octave up so people can better hear it on smaller sound systems such as phones or laptops. So if I were to add another sine wave an octave up, and introduce that. Now we run into a problem. And the problem is that as we introduce this wave, it not only adds volume into the sound, but we're pushing the speaker's cones at their maximum range for a smaller period of time. Check what I mean by this. If we just have the original sine wave, and now we introduce this harmonic, See how this wave actually got thinner? Because it was actually pushing air for a smaller period of time because it's introducing that other harmonic. Not only that, but by default in Serum, the phase of each oscillator is random. So the way they interact is never gonna be as efficient as it could be. So uh, let me show you the solution. First and foremost is you want to turn random off with the phase so you're getting a consistent result every single time. Now you still run into a problem with this where I find the octave up technique isn't the most efficient one. And let me show you what I think is. So what you want to do is you want to go into the wave editor here and you only want to draw in the third harmonic. So this is the third harmonic of the root sine wave. And now check out what happens as we start to introduce this. Now right now, that actually was a bad example, but let's shift the phase of this into a different position. Now look at that. So now our wave is at its peak amplitude for a longer period of time. And notice how our peak volume reduced. So we saved headroom while creating more volume over time with using less energy. So this creates maximum volume, minimum voltage in a sub. Now from here, there are other things you can do to improve the sub, such as add punch, add noise, things like that. 
But I'm actually going to stop here because Mr. Bill covers that really well in the masterclass and I don't want to just steal everything from him. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to leave that in the description of this video. So there we go, guys. I know that was a short video, but that's all I really wanted to show you guys is how to achieve the perfect sub inside of Serum. So thanks again, guys. I'm Kermodi. If you haven't subbed already, please do. And I'll be back again with another tutorial. Peace.